over to Mary Draper and she's going to lead us today. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary Draper and I'm the Extension Agent in Smith County. And today I have Lauren Patterson with me and she's in Robertson County. So we're gonna go over some of the closures. I'm gonna go over the first couple and then Lauren's gonna go over the last few. Um, but I always like to talk about safety first. So we are doing chair yoga. We wanna make sure that we have a sturdy chair. So if you have a chair that has wheels on it, we wanna make sure that if you can, to lock those wheels because it's best to have a chair that's immobile. Uh, we want to make sure that we're at a 90 degree angle in our chair so we don't want to choose a bar stool or anything like that. We want to make sure that our chair is a good, um, good height so we can have our legs at a 90 degree angle. And we always want to remember to breathe when we're exercising. That helps our joints and our muscles relax. So we want to make sure that during all these exercising, we're remembering to breathe. We also don't want to lock any of our joints um, or our, so we don't want to lock our elbows or our legs when we're exercising. Um, and we want to have good posture. So we want to keep our head up and our shoulders back. And with that, well, we're ready to get started. And I always like to start with a warm up. So the first thing we're going to do is simply march in our chair. So we're going to pick up our feet. And you have your uh, hands beside you if that's comfortable, or if you want to swing your arms as well, whichever is more comfortable for you. And we're just going to get our heart rate up a little bit. Very good. So we're ready for our first, first chair yoga pose, and that's our mountain pose. So we wanna make sure again that our shoulders are down and our head is in line with our spine. Our feet are flat on the floor under our knees. And we can have our palms beside us, our hands beside us with our palms facing outward. And we're gonna breathe in for three to five breaths or a second. And then we're going to slowly exhale. Very good. And that's the mountain pose. So that's a transition pose for every pose that we do. You can go back to that pose. So first, after this, we're going to do our side bend. So we're going to have one hand um, on our chair. Our left hand's going to be on our chair for stability. We're going to raise our right hand. And as we do this, we're going to inhale. Then we're gonna exhale and lean towards the left. Then we're gonna go back to the center. And as we do that, we're gonna inhale and exhale, bringing our hand down. And what we do to one side, we always wanna to do to the other. So we're gonna inhale, lift, exhale. back to center and down. And our next movement is the um, knee hug. So you can bring your right leg up and bring your hands just below your knee. We're gonna hold that for three to five seconds. And if this is not challenging enough, you can also put your hands down for a little bit more of a challenge movement. We're going to do the other side. Very good. Our next pose is the cow and the cat. So we're going to, uh, you can slide towards the end of your chair. Shoulders back. We're going to lift our chest a little bit slightly arch our back. And as we do this, we're rolling our shoulders backwards a little bit. And then we're gonna pull our belly button in. And then our uh, head is coming down, our chin towards the chest and our shoulders round. As we do this, we're gonna, as we do the cow, we're gonna inhale. 
then we're gonna exhale. We're gonna do that one more time. Very good. So for our next movement, it's the helicopter. So we're gonna put both of our hands, our arms out. So our hands are uh, parallel to the ground and our palms are facing down. As we do this, we're inhaling. We're gonna turn to the right just slightly. We don't wanna to turn too much. And as we do that, we're exhaling. And then we're gonna inhale and turn to center. And we're gonna to go to the left. And return to center. So as this, we're doing this, we're gonna keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. down and then we're exhaling. Our next movement, we're going to bring both hands up, arms up, and we're going to inhale. As we uh, do that, we're going to move forward and we're going to exhale and our uh, chest and our torso should be about 90 or a 45 degree angle uh, towards our thighs. And we're going to hold this for about three to five seconds. And then we're gonna to return to center, exhale and bring our hands down. Very good, and I am going to pass it on to Lauren for our next movement. Okay, so our next one is the reverse chair. So like Mary said, we're gonna start in our transition pose, which is mountain pose, so we're gonna Feet on the floor, our knees over our feet, and our hands down by our side. So from mountain pose, we're going to slide towards the front of the chair. Make sure you still have a good seat um, because we're going to be doing the reverse chair. Um, so we don't want to miss our chair whenever we come back down. So we're going to have our hands resting on our thighs. As we inhale, we're going to raise both arms overhead with our palms facing um, inward and our fingers are going to be pointed upward. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, keep breathing and on our next exhale, we're going to push through the heels of our feet to stand in a high squat position. So remember, we want to keep our knees still kind of bent and soft. We don't want to lock those out. So let's push on our heels, exhale. Good. We're going to hold for a couple more breaths. Keep breathing. Good. And you can lower back down to your chair. Good. And put your arms back down. Let's do that one more time. So again, on your next inhale, we're going to raise our arms overhead with our palms together. And on our exhale, push through your heels to stand to a high squat. Hold for a couple of breaths. and then slow, slowly lower back down into mountain pose. Good, so our next one is warrior one. And this one can be a little bit complicated um, doing it in the chair, I think. So um, I'm gonna talk you through it and we're just gonna kind of do it really slow and then we'll do one um, together when we're breathing together. So from our mountain pose, we're gonna turn to our right. So turn your body to the right side of your chair. Um, sitting sideways in our chair, we're going to face to the right, both feet again flat on the ground. We're going to keep our right foot planted on the ground, and we're going to straighten our left leg out to the side. So just bring your left leg right over to the side, um, to the, basically to the front of your chair. Um, now we're going to keep both of our hips pointed towards this right knee, so keep these hips pointed um, towards the side here. So on our next inhale, we're going to raise both arms overhead, just like we did a few minutes ago with um, our palms facing inward and our fingers pointed together. 
As we keep our hips pointed forward, we're going to exhale and slowly slide our left leg as far back as you can comfortably get it to where it's behind you. Now we want to make sure that we it's okay to feel um, kind of that stretch in there, but we don't want any sharp pains or anything like that. So if you're feeling that, then um, you can kind of point, you can um, move your heel up and, and point your toes to the ground. Um, so just keep it where it's comfortable for you, okay? So let's return back to where we're facing on the side, return back to our side here, and we're gonna do it together. So keep in mind, we're gonna inhale and raise our arms and then on our exhale, we'll slide our leg back, okay? So let's move our leg to the side. All right, on our inhale, we're gonna raise our arms up, palms facing each other, fingers up. On our exhale, go ahead and slide that leg back and hold for three to five breaths. So this is our warrior one. We're gonna move into our warrior two pose from this. So on our next inhale, I want you to rotate your torso towards the front as much as you can. And then on our exhale, we're gonna lower our arms so they're parallel to the floor. We're gonna take a couple breaths here. Good, all right, let's return to our mountain pose slowly. So let's come back to the um, front of our chair, feet on the floor, arms by our side. Now we're gonna do that warrior one, but we're gonna turn to our left side this time. So let's go ahead and turn. Let's face the left side of our chair, keeping both feet flat on the ground. You come to join me? Now we're gonna keep our left foot planted and our right leg this time is gonna to come to the side. And again, on our next inhale, that's when we're gonna lift our arms. And then on our exhale, we're gonna slide that right leg back as far as it's comfortable for you, okay? So let's inhale, arms up. Exhale, slide that foot back. Let's hold that for a few breaths. Now we're gonna slide into that warrior two. So turn your torso towards the front of your chair and on your exhale, lower your arms down to your side. And let's hold that for a few breaths. Good, let's return to our mountain pose, seated with our um, arms down by our side, feet on the floor, knees over our feet. Okay, we're gonna do our hamstring stretch now. So we're gonna move forward towards the front edge of the chair. We're gonna keep our left knee bent and our left foot flat on the floor. We're gonna extend our right um, leg out in front of us and we're going to place our right foot on the floor with our um, toes pointed upward. So if you were to raise your leg you should see the bottom of your of your shoe. So right heel on the floor, right toes pointed upward and our left foot is just planted on the floor. We're going to place both of our hands on our left thigh and we're going to lean forward just slightly and you should be able, as you lean forward, you should be able to feel that stretch in your hamstring, in your, in your leg. Um, so keep in mind, again, just stretch to where you can feel it, but we don't want any pain. So we're going to hold this for a few breaths. Something to keep in mind, if you want more of an intense stretch, you can use um, one of those resistance bands that um, April used yesterday. 
And you can use that around the ball of your foot and um, lift that right leg for an extra stretch if you wanna um, try that out sometime. Let's do our other side. So this time, right foot planted on the floor. We're gonna um, extend out our left leg, heel on the floor, toes pointed up. Our hands are gonna go on our right um, leg, just above the knee. And the reason for that is we don't wanna place our hands on our straight leg to protect that knee from overextending. So we wanna keep our hands on that bent leg. So right, um, right knee bent, left leg extended. Lean forward for that stretch and let's hold that for a few breaths. Good, and let's return to mountain pose. We just have two more stretches that we're gonna do. Um, the next one is the gluteal stretch. So from our mountain pose with our knees um, bent over our feet and our arms down by our side. We're gonna place our right ankle on top of our left thigh, just behind the knee. We're gonna rest our right hand on our right knee and our left hand on our right ankle. So you should be able to feel this stretch. Um, you may feel it kind of in your right thigh. You may feel it um, some in your bottom, but in that area. So we're gonna hold this for three to five breaths. If you want a more intense stretch, you can lean slightly forward. Just make sure you keep your back straight, your head um, over your spine. All right, let's slowly lower our right leg. And we're gonna do the same thing on our left side. So place your left ankle over your right thigh. Your right hand um, should be on your ankle and your left hand um, on your knee. And again, you can lean forward if you need more of a stretch, but we're gonna hold for three to five breaths. Good, okay, let's return to mountain pose. And we have one more pose that we're gonna do. Um, and this is the quadriceps stretch. So again, we're gonna turn sideways. We're gonna face our right side, both feet flat on the floor. Um, you may wanna put your right arm on the back of your chair for support. We're gonna keep our right thigh on the chair but we're gonna um, slide forward just a little bit so that our left thigh is off of the chair. So slide forward just a little bit so that left thigh is not on the chair. We wanna keep that right thigh on it. We're gonna slowly lower our left knee and shin towards the floor. And we're gonna point our toes behind us. So your left knee, your shin, and the top of your foot should be um, towards the floor. And we're gonna hold this for about three breaths. Good, let's slowly lift our leg back up. Come back to center and we're going to repeat it on the left side. So turn towards your left. This time we're going to keep our left thigh um, on the chair. We're going to slide towards the front of the chair just a little bit to scoop that right thigh off. Then slowly we're going to lower our right knee and our shin towards the floor. And again, remember to point those toes behind you and rest the top of your foot on the floor. Your left arm can come to the back of your chair for support and let's hold this for three breaths.
Good. Let's return to mountain pose. So those are all of our chair yoga poses that we have today. Hopefully you um, feel a good, nice stretch and you're warmed up now. Um, keep in mind that you don't have to be flexible to do yoga. Anyone can do yoga. Um, so please keep that in mind. That's something that I hear a lot. So I hope you've enjoyed those and that's something that you can do at home. Um, there is a handout that is available on the Central Region um, FCE Retreat website. So if you wanted to print that out, you can practice these 12 poses that we did with you today. Um, Mary, it looks like there's about five minutes left. Do you think we have time for the body scan or do you want to pass on that? Whatever you think. Okay. We will try it. Since there's a few minutes left, we're going to do a body scan. Um, so this is um, kind of a meditation type thing that you can do um, to get you relaxed. So the body scan is easiest to do lying down, but it can also be done seated. Um, so I'm going to read um, a script and um, just try to relax. So wherever you are, just kind of get comfortable where you are, whether you're um, at home or, or in an office, just get comfortable. So the purpose of the body scan is to relax and pay attention to how your body feels and what it might be telling you. Listen to your body and be in your body as fully as possible. Sit with your back straight, but not stiff, with both feet on the floor and your hands comfortably in your lap. If it's comfortable for you, close your eyes. Listen to the sound of my voice and follow my instructions. Try to stay awake and alert. Remember to breathe completely and let the breath flow freely into and out of the body. When you notice your mind wandering, gently bring your focus back to the sound of my voice and the instructions. Now direct your awareness to your belly as it rises and falls with each breath. Breathe freely and naturally, finding your own rhythm. Feel your body become heavy as it sinks deeper into your chair on each exhale. On the next inhale, direct your attention all the way down through your body to the soles of both feet. Become aware of your toes, the arches of your feet, the place where your feet meet the floor. Notice any feelings in your feet, any warmness or coolness, pressure, tingling or tightness. Direct your breath to your feet. Imagine that you can breathe directly into your feet. On your exhale, imagine your breath traveling through your right foot shooting from the bottom and taking with it any tiredness or tension. On your next exhale, send the breath through your left foot, taking with it any tiredness or tension as it exits. Now focus your attention on your legs. Notice any feelings in your legs, being aware of your skin, your bones, and your muscles. Perhaps your legs feel warm or cool. Now notice the contact of your legs with the chair, allowing your attention to explore any feelings in this part of the body. On the next inhale, direct your breath all the way down your entire left leg and next breathe down your entire right leg. Now, direct the breath down both of your legs, breathing in relaxation and breathing out any tiredness and tension. Whenever you find your mind wandering, let go of the thoughts as gently as you can and come back to focus your attention once again on your body. Now, focus your attention on your lower back. 
observing any feelings in this part of the body. Maybe you feel tightness, tingling, aching. Allow your attention to move slowly up your back and all the way up your spine. Bring your awareness to where your back touches the chair. On the next breath, breathing into the entire back area, allow the muscles to relax and release tension with each breath. Let go of any tiredness or fatigue, breathing an openness into your entire back. Shift your attention to your belly. Feel your abdomen as it moves up and down, rising and falling with each breath. Take a deep breath in, filling up the belly and allowing the abdomen to fully expand on the in breath. On your exhale, notice the feeling of the breath leaving your abdomen. Now move your attention up to your chest. Draw your awareness to the movement of the chest with each breath. Perhaps you are aware of your heart beating. As you breathe into the chest and abdomen, draw in renewed energy. And as you exhale, let go of any tiredness or tension. Now draw your attention to the arms and hands. Let your attention rest on the fingertips of both hands, focusing your awareness on sensations of tingling, the feeling of air touching the fingertips. Maybe you feel moisture or dryness, aware of the sides of the fingers, the knuckles, the palms of the hands, the tops of the hands. Now pull your attention up your arms and allow it to settle on your shoulders. Notice the muscles here. Really focus on any sensations in the shoulders. Maybe the shoulders feel tight or tense. Maybe they feel heavy or light. Breathe deeply into the shoulders, releasing any worries or concerns and allow your shoulders to soften completely. Now draw your attention to your head. Notice any feelings at the top of your head, your forehead, your eyes, your nose, your cheeks and mouth, your jaw, your neck. Bring your awareness to rest on any feelings in this area of your face and head. On the next inhale, feel this part of your body, breathing in positive energy and relaxing completely. Breathe out any tightness, any tension, and any tiredness. Now, expanding your awareness, feel your breath move easily through your entire body as you rest here. Noticing the movement of the breath from your head to your toes. Notice how the breath moves freely and easily from your feet to the top of your head. As we conclude this activity, be fully aware of your body, whole, complete, strong, and at ease. All right, if you have your eyes closed, you can go ahead and open those and rejoin us. So hopefully you enjoyed that body scan. Um, if that's something you're interested in, you can um, search for those. There's lots of recordings of those that you can listen to. Um, lots of different body scans and meditations that you can do. Okay, Mary, I'll turn it back over to you. Okay, does anybody have any questions? If not, we appreciate you joining us and we hope you have a good rest of your day at retreat. Thank you, Lauren and Mary. That was, that was great. That gets us moving this morning.